bare over your dining room, but have designs on a brand new style, then we're here armed with inspiration to help you get the look. challenge is to get the Georgian look in this bedroom for newlyweds Nick and Lisa. So I'm bringing in an elegant new colour scheme, some period style features and a touch of designer savvy. Today we're in the beautiful Kent countryside where Steve, you and I are going to be making over a bedroom in Lisa and Nick's Georgian farmhouse. Sounds gorgeous. It will be. I'm thinking industrial, clean, modern, maybe a bit of aluminium oh, you maybe. you must be joking. Surely. <laughs> I'm thinking polished floorboards, shutters, wall panelling, that sort of thing. Now, who's the designer here? Uh, it's you, isn't it? Yeah, no, I was kidding. Anyway, let's get on with it. All right, cheek. We've come to Kent to meet Lisa, Nick and young Harley in their Grade 2 listed Georgian farmhouse. It boasts many original features, but they're struggling to keep on top of all the decoration needed to make it their own. The bedroom is where they'd like help first. Clear the clutter and bring out its best features is our brief. Let's see what we're working with. So this is our room. <clears throat> There's not anything too, too wrong with it, really. It's just a case of sort of, it's a bit bitty. Right. Um, you know, we've been here a year and we're still sort of doing rooms up gradually and whilst we've got a few bits and pieces we haven't quite sort of got around to doing this room yet and there's a few things in here that are quite obviously wrong. Right. That sink in the corner. That's not very pretty. No, not very it's a bit, bit is it? 70s avocado. Yeah. <laughs> um, paint the flooring. You know, right. it's just a tatty old carpet. Uh huh. Um, and the thing is, there's a few things that we can't really touch, like the Dell fireplace. That is beautiful. And the and the panelling is great as well. But there's obviously things like this that we need to <laughs> get rid of. <laughs> now, who watches television? How well, can you watch television in a beautiful bedroom like this? Well, what happens is actually we both do. Because Nick works nights, right. so he does spend quite a lot of time in here in the day. But if I'm here on my own at night, then I quite like to watch bits of right. my own discomfort. Okay. Um, but we do have an issue like, with the room as well. Right. Um, with the light, because it's here. Very ah. bright. Because you're like a baby, you need to have it dark. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I love it. I, I love it. It's really bright. I love to look at the sheep and the fields and everything, but Nick needs to sleep in the day. So right. it's, that's one of the issues that we do have with this okay. room as well. Okay. Now, I did ask you to um, create a mood board for yes. me, which I can see on your beautiful... Yeah. Look at this bed, for <laughs> heaven's sake. I want it. Do you, do you want to just yeah. talk me through it a little bit? Well, <laughs> tell me what you've got. Um, I used the tile as mm -hmm. a focal point for this sort of colour scheme. Mm. I sort of thought it could be quite neutral there um, and sort of match up with the blues. Mm. However, because it's Georgian and it is a bedroom, mm -hmm. I thought we may could get away with a little bit of um, sort of flamboyantness with it as well. That's where these sort of fabrics come from. Uh -huh. This is like a bit more si silky with the gold and you've Gorgeous. got the tassels. Um, and beautiful twelve de joy. I love that. That is beautiful. I think that's lovely. These are shutters. Yeah, so yeah. then mm. they can sh completely black us out. As you can For see, you. the sun comes straight in here first nice. thing in the morning right. when I'm trying to sleep. So. I can also see. Bags of clothes as well, and I was on that about. Oh yeah, Nick and I have lived together for about a year now, and we still haven't actually managed to merge our clothes. Because there is loads of storage space in got there. Got lots there? of storage space yeah. in here, um, but quite a lot of junk you in there. You just got a kite. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so basically, to sum up, we need to sort out the seventy sink, yep. do something with the floor, more storage in here, so you yep. can. Uh, sort your marriage out Lovely. and we've got a uh, problem with the shutters as well we need to do something with the, the light situation in here yeah. and um, that's it and then just tie the whole thing together easy peasy just one day great <laughs> you that's two start clearing out thing. I'll go and see the boys in the garden let's get cracking Excellent. Onward. Hey. It's the most beautiful, beautiful Georgian room. Really? It's gorgeous. Great. So I want to be quite careful with it, obviously okay. being quite sympathetic to the architecture and everything. Yeah, so there's a nasty 1970s sink, which has got to come out, okay. some tiles. The flooring needs sorting out. There's some storage issues, so maybe a couple of hanging rails oh, in the yeah. old cupboard.
Easy. Easy peasy. And also, I need some shutters at the window. Really simple, oh. I think. Oh, as well, there's like a kitchen cabinet door. Oh, you'll be, you have to go and look at it. And I want all the uh, beams and ceiling painted white. So not too much then today. No, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> While Steve gets on with that, I've got time to take Nick and Lisa to a beautiful Georgian townhouse that illustrates how to sympathetically decorate a period property. More than any other period, the Georgian style was almost exclusively influenced by the classical architecture of Greece and Rome. The rich landowners of the period poured money into their homes, transforming them into impressively grand houses. Rectangular lines are the rule, though it's also associated with curves, carving, turning and plaster moulding, with polished marble and decorative motifs in gold, white and fine lacquer. Above all, it's about elegance and decadence. Let's see if Nick and Lisa are suitably inspired. Now, I thought you might quite like this. I've got a strange inkling that you might quite like it. <laughs> well spotted. Oh, <laughs> Look at all the panelling. Gorgeous. It's very clean. It's nice to know that we don't have to uh, take it out and start again. And actually and enhance the, uh, what we've got. The shutters are fantastic. Well, that would really uh, block out the sunlight, <laughs> wouldn't it, in the uh, bedroom? And look, look at the colours. Yeah, they are nice. Is this your, your sort of idea, the colour colour wise or yeah, the colours are lovely. I like the neutral colours. It's really kind of it's like a putty colour, isn't it? Almost look a at the stuffed look at the olive. Look at the bed, look at the fire. There's your fireplace. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mind you, this is a bit older than that. <laughs> no, but I think uh, this this house is kind of oh, seventeen fifty, I think. It's lovely. And I, I like that because it's I mean using resin is really well, that's like nice really modern well. and funky, isn't it? And it's and but don't they work well but in it here? It's amazing. That it works. That's the difficulty of living in a in a, a house that's got a period that you're trying to live in. Mm. Um, you need, you need the modern right. touches. Yeah, no, it's um, lovely. Can't think of some of the stuff. Oh, they're wandering off. <laughs> <laughs> no, go on, go on. <laughs> it was open. Oh, well, look how it's all it's really is. Look how big it is. I and like the right. colour on the ceiling as well. Oh, oh, I like the colour on the walls again. It's a bit more mouthy, this colour. Yeah. It works but they, all, they all integrate really well though, don't they? They're, mm. they're, they're different colours, but they just mm. all merge really well. Oh, it's beautiful. And again, it's got the shutters. Now, I like the big mirrors, and that's another, that's um, a new frame with, with the yeah. resin. It's got a nice old look. On. Big cupboards too, because I'm sorry, you two are married now. Sooner or later, oh, no. you are going to have to merge your clothes Put your and your life. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think we're probably going to get a clothes in one of those sort of cupboards, definitely. Now, normally I say, is there anything that you don't like in this room that you absolutely wouldn't want? But I'm not even going to bother today because you obviously love everything. This is fantastic. And not I've never seen an original house like, uh, like this. And, you know, in the house, we've got a few, you know, it's nice to see Features. things that we've got in our house already mm. Mm. in situ. Yeah. It's almost like, can we just take the room and yeah. swap? Can we just, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, it really, really is beautiful. And uh, I can't believe the house is in London like this, you know, it looks like a museum and actually That's something actually lives here. I suppose the only thing I, I was um, expected to see, which is different, is, is the more flamboyant, the fabric side yeah. of things, because I always imagine yeah. that to yeah. be the sort of Georgian look, but um, but it's really lovely to yeah. see the wooden, because I absolutely love this, but I thought it was going to be more chintzy. No chintz, just bags of style. So it's back to their house to get some of my ideas sketched out on paper while they're fresh in my mind. They already have a beautiful period room, but they haven't yet done it justice. So a few changes here and there will dramatically change that. How are you doing, Steve? As usual, Catherine's given me a list of jobs as long as my arm. Today, I'm making shutters for both of the windows. I'm making a Georgian-style door for one of the cupboards. Also a fire guard. There's three different paint colours going on the walls and some hanging rails to fit into the wardrobes. But look around ya, I'm just happy to be here, and I don't mind what she tells me to do today. Okay, now remember those resin mouldings back at the Inspiration House? Watch and learn. This should keep Lisa and Nick busy. First project is to make me some plaster casts. Um, now you remember they had those amazing mouldings that were actually resin in yeah. that house? Mm. We're going to do the same thing, but out of plaster. Wayne's built you a box, very nice of him. I've got these mouldings which you can just pick up from 
some uh, DIY shots. Yeah. I've stuck them down. You're going to make a mould first of all. Now this is the mould solution here. You need one part mould solution, two parts water. Mix vigorously, it's a bit like a recipe. Pour it in, wait for it to set, about five minutes. Take it out, flip it over. That's your plaster of Paris. Same thing again, mix vigorously, pour it in. And uh, you should have some ready-made tiles. I probably need, I'd say 400. Yeah. And then I've got another project for you when you've done that. with Catherine's shutters. I've cut off four shutters using MDF and I'm about using my router to inlay the hinges into the MDF. Because we've got the nice Georgian panel work upstairs, I'm just going to be letting the hinges into the MDF and screwing it into the wall up there so if we don't damage anything in time, if the shutters wanted to come off, they still could and there'd be no permanent damage. But be quick, Steve, because I still need the room painting. A new cupboard door for their panelled wall and the beams need to be whitewashed too. They'd never have painted them black. No. This was a Victorian thing. Really? So, because I'm being historically correct today, and they would have been painted in lime wash, you and I are going to paint them white. There's a lot of painting to do today, but we've got an extra helper on board. Meet Harley, Nick's eight-year-old son. Keep going, Harley. You're doing brilliantly. Believe it or not, these blank sheets of MDF are going to be transformed using a technique called trompe l'oeil, or tricking the eye, into Georgian panelled shutters. And if you don't believe me, join me after the break. Today's challenge is to get the Georgian look in this bedroom for newlyweds Lisa and Nick. It's a period property, so there are already some great features in here, but we needed a few more to zhuzh up the scheme. I took them to a Georgian townhouse to get a few ideas. So far, I've given them a new color palette, a paneled cupboard door, some huge shutters for their windows, which I've been busy customizing, but there's still a lot more to come, including a brand new carpet designed by me. Better get a move on. Well, the transformation of the shutters is complete. It was very easy to do. I base painted the MDF in white emulsion and then to create the panel effect in the middle, I've just masked off an inch stripe all the way around and then I've painted in pale gray on one side and a darker gray on the other to create this shadow highlight effect. Really easy, Georgian panel shutters. Lisa, you're gonna help me with okay. this table now. <laughs> There's no rest for the wicked, is there? I know. <laughs> it's really easy to do. I've nicked this desk from your office, haven't I? Oh, God, I didn't recognise it. Painted it white, because it was yellow before. Yeah, it I was painted yellow. it white. And what I've done is that uh, I've mixed up some grey emulsion here. Nothing to do with the colour of your room, obviously. And uh, a little bit of uh, acrylic glaze, just to uh, stop it from drying so quickly. And what we're going to do is we're just going to antique it a little bit. So we'll brush it on leave it on for a bit and then wipe it off. Okay. Does that sound silly? Yeah, Painting easy. something on and then wiping it off again. Yep. And then, just to give it a little bit of zhuzh, we're going to add some gilt crease at the end. Thank but you, you can do that because it's a nice job. So do you want to um, wipe or paint? Um, I'll wipe. Another killer feature I've arranged for their room is a new carpet, hopefully to be fitted shortly, which I designed specially for Lisa and Nick. Designing your own carpet is much easier than you think. Your local specialist will be able to point you in the right direction. It'll cost more than your average carpet, but you'll be left with a unique design in your own chosen color combination. Then you choose the motif or border from a very wide selection and just leave it to the experts. As for my design, well, all will be revealed very soon. Well, the room's coming along really well, as you can see. The walls are painted, however, we have one problem this hideous carpet that really we've been using as a dust sheet and no carpet fitters. But there's lots to do in the meantime. How's Lisa doing? Well, I must say, I think that table's come out really well. Do you like it? Fantastic. I'm really, really pleased with it. 
considering it was in an old table in the office, it's um, really scrubbed up well. <laughs> really, really lovely. I like yeah. the gilt cream as well. I think that'll work. Oh, really it went well. on really easy. It's a really easy effect. So it's brilliant. Are yeah. you a bit excited now? I'm really excited. I can't wait to get in there. I keep seeing snippets everywhere, but not really the finished <laughs> thing. So, um, yeah, really, really excited. Can't wait to see the finished article. My next mate today is Catherine's fire guard. I borrowed a bowl from Lisa's kitchen. I've measured up my height. Coming three inches from either side. I'm just marking round there now to give me the round shape. I've cut out two legs from MDA. I'm simply going to cut a slot in them. Cut out for my fire guard. The two legs will slide in there. And hey presto, one Georgian fire guard. There we go, Georgian fire guard, under five minutes flat. I thought, Lisa, we could use this wonderful toile de joy wallpaper, inspired by your mood board, yep, absolutely. to put in some frames and make some art for the walls. Use the back of the picture frame as your template. This tends to be more expensive wallpaper than most, but you won't need very much of it. Great, the carpet's here, and not a moment too soon. Go on, Harley, put your back into it. So it's out with the old, and in with the new. on Nick and Lisa, who've been customising Steve's fire guard with more Toile de Joy wallpaper. I got Steve to knock this up for me. This is fantastic. Nice, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And then the Toile de Joy wallpaper, a bit of moulding, and then if you can gilt cream. Yeah. So, I mean, do you like this sort of thing? Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. And no. It's <laughs> no. You really like it? Yeah. Not too much of it, though, because it's a little bit, um, if there's too much of it, it looks too busy. But the next time you see me, we'll be uh, outside your bedroom door, ready to go in and see you really. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. So uh, I shall leave you to get on with it. All right. Thank you. Well, while they complete that last project, I've got just 15 minutes to get everything back in their room and complete those last few vital finishing touches. Their new fire guard takes pride of place. They've done a good job. Check over. <laughs> Okay, well while I fetch Nick and Lisa, you can have first viewing of today's transformation. This morning their room was attractive but overcluttered and didn't make the most of its period features. And now it's got an elegant Georgian look with a stylish new colour scheme that enhances their furnishings. Their mood board reaffirmed their desire to stay close to the authentic Georgian style. So with that in mind, I took them to a Georgian townhouse to see how to dress a room, but so that it's still conducive to modern living. They love the blues and mousy beige colour scheme, so back in their room we went for similar shades enhanced by that stunning specially designed border carpet. On the visit they were impressed by the resin mouldings around the mirror and the cast on display, so we had a go and made some decorative pieces for their room. Panelling and window shutters made a great impression on Nick and Lisa, so Steve made them some blackout shutters which I then painted with a trompe l'oeil design in keeping with the Georgian period. This Georgian style was about elegance and opulence. Nick and Lisa already had that stunning bed and some exquisite wardrobe, so I complemented their furniture with some beautiful cushions and of course that fire guard with the elegant toile de joie design. From a spacious and attractive but cluttered bedroom to an authentic, elegant and luxurious Georgian look in just one day. Let's see what Nick and Lisa make of their new room. So, Nick and Lisa, 
You're obviously a bit excited. Oh. <laughs> I can't wait. Are you nervous? Bit. Feeling nervous? But yeah, yeah. actually, it's, been, it's more nerve-wracking than I thought it was going to be. Really? Yeah. It really is, yeah. yeah. It's almost like we want to go in there, but we don't. <laughs> yeah, you know, you've been little snippets throughout the day, but you just can't believe, you know, you can't imagine what it's going to be like. It's so. brilliant though, because you two don't have any more design rows, because if you don't like it, you can blame it on me. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> no, I'm going to let you just get on with it. Yeah. I'm going to give you your new bedroom. Thank so, you. Uh, after you, Lisa oh, and Nick, go, for go on. New bedroom, go for it. Here we go. Oh my God. Oh, this is. <laughs> oh, it looks fantastic! <laughs> oh, Catherine is beautiful. Absolutely. <laughs> so one room can look so different. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, <it's so> <laughs> oh! Now you two have got to spend some time in here. Oh, we will. Oh, God, it's stunning. Look at the ceiling. Just like it's lifted the whole room. Just How looks it's like it's just so much. A proper oh, bedroom, yeah. isn't it? Do you like your shutters? Fantastic. They're stunning. They really absolutely. Nice. Everything is absolutely gorgeous. Now, and the main thing as well Look is the carpet. most beautiful carpet, oh, which I designed just for you two. This is a bespoke carpet. There isn't one like it's it gorgeous. anywhere else. Wow. I have to say that I really, really like it. It is gorgeous. It's not and your yet. beautiful desk, that horrid yellow thing oh, that was downstairs. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> and your tiles on as well. I've just kept it really, really simple. Oh, it's really so lovely. Uh, that is it's all, it was a beautiful room in the first place. I know, anyway, but you've it? just, you know, you've done exactly what we asked of. You know, it's uncluttered. It looks like a bedroom. Um, well, I can't take beautiful. all the credit. No, I, mean, exactly. I have to bring in my two <laughs> top helpers. Here we are. Really, yeah. Because yeah. Really Carly, <laughs> Carly, I like to shake your hand, actually. Yeah, that's that's brilliant. Stunning. Brilliant. Really, yeah. really no, they're really stunning. Right. You're welcome, you're welcome. Never She's done it. made this brilliant cupboard. You see now that one fits oh, in there. Look at that. And it also, matches. your sink and everything's <gasps> gone. No sink. Do you yeah. like it, Harley? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's <laughs> 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 been, been a great help today, I must say. Yeah. 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 Wow. Lovely colour. <laughs> well, on that really happy <laughs> note. Yeah, that's it from us. <laughs> yeah, that's it from us. All there is left to say is see you next time on Get the Look. Sky Digital customers can head for the red and press the red button now to find out what's next on UK Style and other channels in the UK TV network. UK TV's new viewing guide gives you program listings and information on all your favourite UK style shows. Head for the red with UKTV. Funky and funky.